Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I was about to say another game, but I don't know what I was gonna say. I was just gonna say words. I think I was gonna say Nuclear Throne. <laughs> I don't know why. What the heck? I haven't played that game in forever. I really should though, Nuclear Throne's a pretty fun game. Well, I know what passive we're starting with. I would also like to know what gun we're starting with in addition to mm, the pilot starter pistol, which is not very good. We got Demon Head. Demon Head and the Battle Standord. You know what, it's nice. It's nice to be able to possibly pick up some, some familiar army early. I can dig it. I do like the um, the familiars in the game, but most of them, most of them just don't behave correctly. Unless the game's gonna give me junkin, I don't really care. You can give me the wolf all day, every day, and I know that boy's cute and all, but uh, his AI kind of could use a little bit of work. He's a bit of a dumb dog. Sorry to all you dumb dogs out there. But you know what? I I do enjoy having a a demon fiend in my hand right now. This is a good gun. Good gun, good for killing the first few bosses. <clears throat> Pardon me. I like it. It's kind of wishing we could get something a little bit more interesting though to, to start with for items. I'm always hoping for, and I keep feeling, feeling like I should use lock picks. I don't have any lock picks. I'm not the pilot, I only have his gun. What the heck? I also keep feeling like I uh, should start with items that are very unique and game changing whenever I'm playing as the paradox, you know? Sure, battle standard, maybe if I also started with like five familiars and I can't attack, we could have something a little bit interesting, but just starting with the battle standard, I mean, in theory, I could get no familiars on the whole damn run. Sure, that's the worst case scenario, but I don't see why it, I don't see why it couldn't happen. Listen to me, I'm trying to wish the game gave me a better item, and I'm usually the guy who's like, an accuracy upgrade, all right! <laughs> Statistical upgrades, oh, I love this game. This is why I still play you, Gungeon, because I have plus 15% accuracy. Really though, I would, I would love some accuracy with the pilot pistol. <laughs> Please game, help me, help me. Um, oof, oof, oof. Some good stuff here. I wonder how much is this? 35, 25, so we need 60 credits. We're not gonna get enough money to buy an amulet and a key. If we buy the key, we can open up the red chest and see what the item is in the red chest. It could be anything. It could even be uh, an HP upgrade and a key. So it's very it's very tempting to open up that red chest just to see what we get out of it. But we're definitely not gonna get any more money. I mean, we're freaking broke, dude. This floor was garbage. All right, I think I'm gonna... May I offer you an egg in these trying times? The egg is good, but I think I'm just gonna buy the key and open up the chest. Now, in theory, Maybe what I should have done is not buy anything, fight the boss, maybe get a key out of it, but whatever. I don't want to wait that long. It's my item and I want it now. It's my chest and I want to open it now. Connie says I could go for an omelet to be fair. If anyone wants to come over and make me an omelet, I mean, go right the frick ahead. Anyways, this is an okay gun for the first couple of bosses, so I'm I'm happy to have it. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We get the shot grub. No. Secret room and a secret room with a key in it. So at least we'll be able to open up another chest and you know what, this green chest is gonna have a passive in it. We don't have the money, we don't have anything else to spend the key on. Nano machines is all right. So in theory, we could have bought something else had I not purchased the key immediately to open up the red chest first, but honestly, whatever, who cares? We don't get an egg, oh no. 
You will not, in fact, not offer me an egg in these trying times. Get away from me, you fiend! All right, let's get the heck out of here. Give me, uh, give me that shot grub. Ironically, would go very well with an accuracy upgrade. <laughs> if only, if only. Where's my accuracy? We'll, we'll look for it. We'll see if we can buy one from the shop. No junkin'. Also, uh, no familiars yet. Just saying. I don't think that chests get their item until you open the chests, so in theory, you know, spawning with the battle standard on this floor wouldn't have affected the spawning of what's in that chest. You know, it's not like... Because I'm pretty sure when you are the Paradox, if you get something like um, the Clover, that floor is going to have red and black chests, the first floor. It, it You get the item, then the floor generates. So I don't think order particularly matters there. You know, we're not affecting the RNG of the floor by uh, getting battle standard on the paradox. The items, again, they only get assigned, I think, when you go into the, into the room and open up the chest. What do we got? We got a key. We'll buy this key in one credit. And there's nothing else in the shop, unfortunately. And on top of that, no freaking accuracy upgrade. Rude. It's okay. Shot grub is actually still just like an incredible pickup. Even if it's got a little bit of spread on the side shots. Ligme says, I actually started to like rainbow runs with the robot. I love getting lots of junk and not feeling bad about it. I mean, that's definitely not a bad thing to pick up junk when you're playing as the robot. I still, um... I still would rather not play on a, um... Rainbow Mode run, though, just because I like having the uh, ability to pick up anything I want. Without being restricted. I'll toss out an occasional shot, I don't care. Especially here. Get some of those bounces in. I guess I've got a widespread shock, and that works too. Rainbow mode runs can be fun. Most of the time, I'm just begging the game to give me more ammo <laughs> or ammo synthesizer, and that's still not enough. Or you get Mega Hand and you're like, oh, I guess I don't need ammo for the rest of the run. <laughs> and here you thought I needed you. Game. No, I don't need you. I don't need your f stinking ammo. Whoa, I, why did I almost get hit by one bullet? <laughs> Classic little panic dodge roll moment there. No, no, no. Charge it up. Okay, give me a uh, crossbow ammo. Why not? Maybe we can even take this as a moment to, like, actually use the damn gun. Got him! <laughs> With a wild shot from yesterday. He's dead, Jim. He's dead. the heck? Oh, it's freaking uh, Ruby Bracelet. Yet another item that I immediately forget about whenever I grab it and then later I'm like, what the heck is that sound? You hear that? I do hear that indeed. Okay, well, we'll go for it again. Now we have full ammo for everything. Uh, nothing in the chest. Already found the other chest. I'll open this one and we get garbage. You know, it happens. I will learn to live with it, and I will also learn to possibly find some way of munching it. You know, we could munch Crescent Crossbow. 
two high-ish quality weapons that uh, serve their usefulness early and then kind of falters off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why shouldn't I gun munch it? Why shouldn't I? Hello. It is a very womp womp though. Um, yeah, let's fight the boss. I'll just use all the ammo in this gun and then munch it with the um, charm bow. Charm bow's actually not that bad. I think I don't give it enough credit, but. I don't want to take a million years to kill anything anyways in this freaking run. Let me get a free hit. Whoa, whoa. Hey, got him. If only I had enough damage that I could do a thousand damage with one dodge roll. I missed! Hold on. Hold on. Still moving. Preserving the shot. Got him. <laughs> I hit it with the dodge roll. Being far too aggressive with that, but it's a lot of fun. I thought the Crescent Crossbow was stronger, says Ligmaze. Nah, it's not not the greatest, is it? This is pretty good, though. We've already got the synergy to it. And this is Charm Bow, isn't it? I can't gun munch now. What the heck? Look at, look at Abe, remembering he can't gun munch now that he's picked up a good weapon. What the heck? Who is this guy? Yo, Shadow Bullets is pretty nice. Um, okay, well, if we can't gun munch, what are we gonna do? We could get rid of the revolver, but I kinda like the revolver. Uh, I guess we're gonna, not gonna gun munch now, because I, I would have before, but not now. Yeah, I would have before. So instead, we're gonna go. Cerebral Bros, though, I love the synergy, I love it. I love it! Let's grab the shot grip as well. <clears throat> okay, okay. We've got a bit of a synergy here, I think. Something worth using anyways. And, uh, okay, he's drilled. Maybe we can get a, a scatter shot soon and then we can have uh, even more angry roving drills. Two should do it, yeah. Do the shadow bullets from Drill seek out different enemies? How does the homing work on that gun? Uh, bullet gun, drill gun, bullet bro gun, seems to have a internal mechanism to split the drills evenly. So you'll notice it's trying to drill two different enemies whenever I pull the trigger. It, it will attempt to do that for most situations. Like, even this, it, the drill went off screen to try to hit an enemy that was behind me. It, it, it's really good at trying to make sure that it's it's being smart with the drillage. Makes it a, a very useful uh, gun for crowds, because you know that when you pull the trigger, it's going to hit as many enemies as it possibly can hit. That's why I'm kind of just like chilling, firing the drills. I know that with one enemy, they're all gonna impact. Hey, it's the dog. Wrong dog, also a mimic? No thanks, dog. He's just barking at me now, rude. Um, okay, well. Got him. Whoa, let's go. All right. Yo, this run has everything. Lots of explosions happening. It's got a way of dealing with, uh, and you saw there, one of the drills went onto the spider because it was the closest enemy. The other drill curved away from this bullet can to hit the guy who didn't have a drill in his head. This is pretty good. We've got an opportunity to steal that key now, if we want to. Pet the dog. Technically I did, 
the dog was just doing his bark first. So you're the only enemy on the screen, I know because of how my drills behaved. You're both dead. This is actually a really nice room to have this on. Just so I can, you know, shoot and then not have to worry at all. Also, I, I love that I can deal with teleporting enemies too. If they're not on screen, they still explode. <laughs> Hello. There's a lot going on on this floor, holy crap. That time one of the drills went to a nearby enemy instead of this enemy, but like, I can't blame the drill, it was, there was a wall in the way. Bow, bow, bow. Thank you, drill. I don't know if the dog would bark at that chest. Pretty busy floor. Good job, boy. You made, that was a nice jump, by the way, dog. I don't know if I could have done that. All right, what do we got here? I was gonna say, this is not gonna be Old Crest drop-off. Wow, I have apparently just completely whiffed on the Old Crest drop-off location. It's over here. Go me. Blood Angel, welcome to the stream. You playing best class. Is that uh, Dogmancer? Which I apparently now am. Da, 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 da. How many keys do we have? We have uh, two keys. All right, let's open some chests. I would like this one. Dude, one of these days I'm gonna get the synergy that is uh, triple shot with this again. Vorpal bullets or whatever the heck it is. Molotov blows. Um, I don't know, I might just gun munch it. Like gun munch a Molotov gun and freaking star pew. Crescent crossbow, that's the name of it. I right, just do it. Might as well. I mean, it's actually really good for dealing with the missiles, the crowd control as well, kind of. Damage isn't uh, amazing. It's good enough, though. Please stop shooting me, thank you very much. You know, a little while ago I gave a, a, a guesstimation metric of we're probably gonna find a like glitch chest at some point. Oh, I rolled into the bullet! <laughs> I lost my flawless. I'm still hoping to, to have that one of these days. It's just not showing up, is it? Okay, we should gun munch this. I will gun munch this gun, and I will gun munch the... I will gun munch the Molotov gun. Give me something else. All of our other guns are really good, so I don't wanna get rid of them. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Snake Maker is real nice. That's a, that's a quality gun right there. That's a quality gun, hon. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Well, hold on. Aw. F. <laughs> All right, now we'll get the heck out of here. Dun, dun. Give me the bullet bore, give me the, give me the Excalibur. I just like it. It's a fun gun. This looks to be a fun run. Nico Fox, welcome to the stream. It's an all right run so far. At least I've got, you know, double drill gun, which is always fun to use. I've got a lot of fun guns right now, but that Crescent Crossbow, man, leaves a, a little bit to be desired, doesn't it?
And unfortunately, we're now at the point in the game where nothing will die in one shot or in one drill. So we gotta expend twice as much ammo. But that's all right. Oh, these guys still die in one shot at least. What about ghosts? Nope. And drill gun, at, at this point, because it is taking a couple of shots to kill these enemies, the drill is not amazing at uh, ensuring that the same enemy is getting hit by the drills, or like separate enemies getting hit by the drills, it will stack up many drills on one target. And that's fine. He's still doing an okay-ish job. Excuse me, coming through. Thank you. I still love smacking these guys with the uh, the drill, though. You will not be able to convince me that this is not a fun gun. Da -da, da -da -da. I don't know why that. I, I don't know why I thought that could be a secret room. Hell no. I also uh, I enjoy the little knockback that enemies get when they're hit by the drill. They get sh shot downwards a little bit. Completely unnecessary. Okay, buy a key. Bum bullets don't need it. Although adding bees to our drill could be okay. Do you really need a drill that shoots bees though? I'm lucky you missed. More armor. Getting a lot of armor. Must be that armor synthesizer we have. Dun 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 dun. Well, you were, you were lucky. You were smart. You went behind the wall. I can't hit you behind a wall. Not with the drill gun. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Some of the, the more fun runs I've had with Drill have definitely been with, like, scatter shot. Fire, fire one shot, you get the horrible sound effect, and then you also get, like, six enemies becoming drilled. It's pretty good. Do you not need a drill that shoots bees? Well, really, it's just a matter of if I can afford it. These things are prohibitively expensive. I mean, a, a bee gun? If you're in California, they're uh, technically an endangered fish species, right? You gotta be careful. You get the EPA on your ass. <laughs> the Department of Fish and Game, one of the two. I'm not gonna spend a key on that, not yet. B drills a Pokemon, all right? Yeah, 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 if I have a, a drill gun that shoots bees, I'll just say, this is my bee drill. Totally just a Pokemon. <laughs> totally not illegally shooting bees out of my gun. Ah, whatever. All right, we're done with the floor. Got one key, bunch of money. Uh, I guess maybe we will buy bum bullets now because there's not really reason to. Well, there's, there's a reason not to, which is that it might affect the drill, but it really only negatively affects charge weapons, so I'll grab it. I think, I think this is fine. I'm also not even gonna be using it here, I think, just because of the fact that, I mean, I know what enemies are here. This is not exactly a drill type of situation, is it? This feels more like a gun situation, a standard gun. We'll say thank you, Shadow Bullets, giving me just a little bit of extra power here. You know what, go ahead. I'll use one blank. Revolver and bees, you know what? Thank you, B-Gun. I'll take you in whatever form you present to your, 
to, to me in. I got stuck on the wall too, <laughs> and I thought I had a blank. That is not the case. Oops, uh, go to... Dare I say it, Demon Head is actually okay. And uh, Demon Head, Demon Head's all right, but you do a lot of dodge rolling in this fight. At, at least the beam only takes a split second to warm up. You know, it's not like it's the disintegrator, which would be kind of worthless. And we still get the freebies! <laughs> Pretty sure Beedrill is the worst stat, the worst stat Pokemon in the game. What the hell is a stat Pokemon? Yo, Snake Maker 2.0? Or Snake Gun 2.0, rather. Twin Snakes. Snake? Snake! I'll take it. Ooh, we got a lot of chests to blow up, actually. I guess we didn't really uh, have too many keys on this floor, did we? All right. Nice. Skedaddle. Skedoodle. Your dick is now a noodle. I have to do it. <laughs> I have to do it. <laughs> I just can't do the uh, the song portion of it. Football organizations are notoriously litigious, from my understanding. <laughs> I can't risk it, man. I can't risk it. It's been a while since we've had this version of the, the Rattler gun, but it is a very fun version of the Rattler gun. Especially with more accuracy, too. This thing is a freaking laser of snakes. <laughs> a laser of snakes. That's like um, you're talking about theoretical physics in the snake universe. It's not uh, particle wave duality, it's snake wave duality. <laughs> it's a laser of snakes. That is a dumb joke. That's why I love it so much. Good job, brain. Nerd brain. There we go. You got anything for me, dog? Dude, one of these days this dog is gonna pay out. Now, we can, I think, Save the chest. You gotta be careful not to break the chest, but we can definitely save the chest. Oh, dude, we got an accuracy upgrade. <laughs> Shot grip is good too. I forgot. I still like Snake Maker, but now we've got Shot Grub as well. We can swap to whenever the hell we want. Yeah, I don't really get why the Disintegrator is S tier. Maybe I'm using it wrong, but it just takes too much time to charge up. I mean, I guess the idea is that it does just do a lot of damage, but it's a, it's a situational gun, you know? It's not a, you're probably gonna use it on boss fights, and it's not a gun you're gonna use on every boss fight, it feels. And that's okay. I'm not gonna pet you for a freaking glass of wandstone. What, are you kidding me? You gotta earn it, dude. Get a job, you lazy dog! Sure, uh, should you hope we never lose this glass wand stone though, because it didn't, you know, it was a payout from our dog. This one we picked up for free, but oh no! Oh, hey, look at that, a secret room that has a guand stone in it. And a little bomber. You know what, maybe we can get this to be a uh, king money run. I would love a king, king money run. A snazer sounds awfully cruel. A <laughs> snazer. I love it. I mean, you do 
kind of have a snazer here. It's a little snazer like. Or snazer light. Hawkfoot, welcome. How you doing today? Ahoy. Ahoy. What are you, a freaking pirate? Shiver me timbers, Hawkfoot. Welcome to the seas. The, oh, the sailing seas of the internet. Arr, arr, arr. What, uh, what search engine does a pirate use? Arr, I use Bing because I only use the default Internet Explorer browser. Arr, arr, arr. Arr, you know a thing or two about computers? Arr? Mine's been running awfully slow lately. Could you take a look at it? Arr, arr, arr. You again? I remember you from last run. Uh, I don't want your stuff though. I do not regret my entrance now. <laughs> I, I think of Hawkfoot and I don't know, is that like Hawk, Hawk, Hawk? First of all, that sounds like a pirate's name, kind of, Hawk, right? But then also, I think there's at least two video games where there's either a pirate or a sailor named Hawk. One of them might be uh, like a Dragon Age game, but I actually don't think he's a sailor in that game. For some reason though, I think he is a pirate, and I don't know why. The other one might be something Ultimate related. Like, was Hawk the name of a, one of the sailors in uh, freaking Ultima 7 or something? I don't remember. Oh, you son of a gun! Luckily we have like infinity armor, but I keep taking a dumb damage in boss fights. Don't you dare disappear on me, by the way. You can keep, you know, spinning around all you like, I don't care. He's gonna disappear. But I think the drills will still land and explode, so we're, we're not gonna be able to kill him in this phase, but he's dead as soon as he comes back. Hawk was the player character in Dragon Age 2. Rings a bell, it does. Yo, four drills? Four drills? Actually, it's five drills, six drills, because the back two are guaranteed doubles. So we, we have Scattershot now. Yo, this is pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, yeah, screw you, lady, I don't care. Although, you know I could steal something. Steal a badge? I mean, I don't, here's the thing. The damage we get out of the badge literally doesn't matter. We can get the item, but I don't care. We could get the blank, but I don't really want to be that cursed. So I think I'm just gonna go. Pierce the heavens, Abe. I do have a giant drill. I've got a good drill. I'd like to drill those heavens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as long as we're not on a very small room like this, we do have high drill potential. Jammed enemies won't die until I hit the hit him with the second drill, but do 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 do. Whenever you start hearing the do 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 of too many explosions and enter the gungeon, you know you've got a good run. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is good. Oh my god. Uh, Akalor Spanda. 
welcome to the stream. Uh, no rat fight? Look, I could try to come up with a joke for this. I could try to come up with some reasoning as to why I didn't do the rat fight. It's gonna come clean. I forgot. I... I forgot that I had the rat key. And that I stole it for curse on the second floor. Hey, uh, Pokey the Gaming Panda, let's go. Thank you very much for the resub, by the way. Thank you, thank you. I forgur. <laughs> Says Ligmazed. I did forgur. Eh, you know what? Sometimes I forgur. Sometimes it's gonna happen. Still the rat key just to be cool. Yeah, I don't need to worry about curse at all. I've got the perfect run here. Infinity drills. In the case of amnesia, or a case of me just like always walking into bullets. I will buy the key though. Do, 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 do. I'm warning you, don't shoot again in my shop. You hear? How come he has a problem with me shooting guns in his shop? Clearly he's a supporter of the Second Amendment. He lives in the Gungeon. <laughs> you keep giving me money, dog, and I still appreciate it. I would like, I don't know, keys though. I keep having to buy my own keys. Panda says, I, it's my first time watching the stream, but I'm used to it from YouTube. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> if, you're, if you're here from YouTube, yeah, you know I forget things on occasion. It happens. Po buddies nerf picked, etc., etc. By the way, have some drills. I'm very happy with this run right now. It's a very fun run of just running into a room shooting drills and then not caring about what actually happens. Oh, you're freaking dead, dude. A little bit of, uh, you know, delayed explosion effect happening there, but it still freaking murdered everything. I'm immune to contact damage. Knock it off. Hey, knock it off. Get away from me, you bullet. No mimics, huh? Ah, <sighs> disappointed! Oh, why I had the wrong gun? <laughs> this is still the wrong gun, I switched. Twice in like two seconds. <laughs> Calm down there, Hercules. <laughs> I want my mimics and I want them now. I need free items, please, please. I'm not gonna gun munch. I have one key. Sorry, I have three keys actually. Maybe we sh maybe we maybe we're okay opening up the chest now that I think about it. I'm not gonna go sell the damn thing. I'm just gonna let the rat take it. Get balloon gun. We got a third chest. And it's fine. And then we're gonna fight Wallmonger, I think. And Against Wallmonger, what do I want? I mean, frick, man, I don't know. We could probably use Rubidine. It's a little slow. Probably use, uh, I mean, pretty much anything. Excalibur is actually pretty good here, too. I kind of like the Rubidine, though, because I know that we're going to be uh, firing bullets out of our back that should, in theory, bounce to the top of the screen, but maybe not. I guess maybe it's too far away and the bullets disappear before they make it there. A little disappointing. Sorry for the uh, the big boy flash. 
Remember, if, uh, if you're in the middle of a nuclear explosion, don't look at it. Close your eyes. Or get into a refrigerator. Then you can't see it anyways. <laughs> Dude, that was a really fast fight. Why am I doing so much damage? Is it just backup gun, or sorry, not backup gun, shadow bullets and bees? Is that it? I feel like it shouldn't be doing that much damage, but I'm kind of okay with it if that's the case. Fridge worked in Fallout? When do you hide inside of a fridge in Fallout? I don't remember that. Abe will not remember that. Uh, freak. Uh. Okay, we can sell Makarov, F. We can sell... I don't know, uh... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna sell the Icebreaker. 157 bucks, you know, it's probably enough. Move on. In Fallout 4, you find a kid who hid in a fridge, became a ghoul, and was trapped for ages. It's not how that works. Like, even if, even, okay, let's say, theoretically, you get trapped in a fridge in a nuclear apocalypse and get turned into a ghoul. Don't you still require sustenance and nutrition to function? Are they, like, literally absorbing the, uh, the radiation and turning that into like bodily fuel, that's one hell of a mutation to have. Be a freaking god if you don't have to actually eat and you don't age and you're invulnerable and invincible. That doesn't sound like an ick worked for me though, <laughs> to get turned into a, into a ghoul, I suppose so. Maybe it works for you. It's not good enough for me. Hegemony rifle. Do we have a hegemony synergy? I don't freaking know. AK-47. Tetrama no 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 I'm just gonna save my money. Ghouls heal from radiation. Yeah, but you don't heal from starvation. Even ghouls have to eat brains. Why do you think they're always running around saying brains, brains? Dude, though, in a Fallout universe, sentient, friendly ghouls would be a go-to for the movie business. Like, you you wouldn't need to CG any ghouls in your film. You just hire some some ghouls, go to your local uh, ghoul chapter. You say, hey, we need uh, uh, 30 ghouls to be extras in our zombie film. Of course, then you have to deal with the whole, you know, <laughs> Public rights image of ghouls. We're humans too. Smooth skin. <laughs> Why is there no ghoul protagonist? Why are we always uh, constantly doing roles as uh, ghouls and zombies? Ah yes, the thriving Hollywood community post-apocalypse. You know post-apocalypse, they'll still they're still gonna try. <laughs> you know it. You know that they're still gonna try to make films. What else are they gonna do? Something actually useful? Something actually productive to society? <gasps> are you kidding me? Um Wax Wings in Sixth Chamber. How much curse do we have right now? <laughs> Did I steal anything from you? on this run? I don't think I did yet, did I? I could just buy a bunch of garbage. I stole the rat ring. <laughs> I didn't steal anything else though, did I? Um, I kinda want Sixth Chamber. Dude, if I do this, everything's gonna be jammed and take a billion bullets to kill though. Did you pay them with CD scans? <laughs> pay them in ra You don't need to, here's the thing. In the, in the Fallout universe, you wouldn't need to pay the ghouls with radiation. They could just walk outside, get it for free. What are you gonna do, sell cans of air? 
I don't need to buy your can of air. I can just walk outside. Oh, the good stuff. Ooh, lag. Sometimes the uh, drill bits don't really land where I need them to land. <clears throat> this is a great room though. Filled with a lot of enemies, just drill them. And as I expected, the enemy who had uh, an infinity amount of curse on him is the only one who survived the initial barrage of drills. Da -da -da -da. Gamer girl air. <laughs> Would you like some of my air? I sniffed it first. Oh god, that'd be a horrible product. Shower air. <laughs> A can, you can buy a can of air from when I took a shower earlier today. Only $49.99. 150 for a six pack. Which is Abe air? Dude, you don't want Abe air. It's gonna just make you sneeze all the damn time. It'll make your eyes water. It'll make you cough and sneeze. It's uh, absolutely chock full of allergens. Hope you have your antihistamines ready. A bottle of shower steam. <laughs> hey, it's our first freaking familiar. Yes, I'm saying first, I don't count the dog. It's our first damn familiar. And it only cost us a million years. You know what, I'm gonna buy this anyways. We're that curse! Also, what does this synergize with? Hey, brother. Just like the real thing. I uh, did not anticipate this happening. Crap, uh, all right, well, I guess, I guess we'll roll. We should roll Rubidine for the boss fight. It's a it's a good time for it, I think. This boss fight should be really good with it because we have a, a, a small room in which we can toss in these bouncing shots. I freaking knew it. I go so long in this damn game saying, I don't want to get it. It's going to cause me to get too much curse. So what do I do? Freaking curse myself. Who could have possibly seen this coming though? <laughs> Yo, you're going too fast, brother. Dare I say it, Drill is actually pretty okay here. You know what, please clear those bullets for me. Oh, it doesn't work with the explosions. Abort, abort. Different gun. Excalibur's bringing up the curse hard. It's only like two levels of curse though. What the hell did I steal on this damn run? A key and, a, and I picked up Excalibur, I didn't steal it. What did I steal? We should not be at 10 curse, man. We shouldn't be at 10 curse. What the hell happened, man? What the hell happened? He's coming right for us. Uh, what are we gonna use against the boss? Oh my God, we're gonna freaking die on the boss fight. Tell you what though, I'll use, um... Probably hammer. Yo, Space Turtle's doing a pretty good job. I've got one blank remaining. Didn't quite get another uh, big boy charge, but I think that's okay. Just 
pop a blank right there and then we got it. All right, we're gonna make it with one more flawless. I did fail like three of them. Oops. Right, big boy's curse as well. I guess we do have that much curse then. I always forget about uh, weapons like uh, Big Boy because I don't think of it of it as having too much curse. But yeah, it's like two curse on this, two curse on Excalibur, so that's like four curse. We stole one, so that's five curse, and then it's four point five curse for this. So we're at least at nine point five curse, and if Excalibur is two point five, that's exactly ten. So we're pro probably exactly at ten. Drop Excalibur, nah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll just eat it. I'll eat the penalty. Although first, I will grab an ammo refund, and then I will leave. Here's the thing, I actually don't really care about having this amount of curse. We can do it because we have so much freaking HP and so much good equipment. And good guns, and we got the infinite drill. So I'm just gonna move on. Funny how you cleared the whole floor before picking up six chamber. You know, I guess you're right. I did do the whole floor and then pick up six chamber. I probably should have done it in the opposite order, but... I don't know, then I would have had to deal with LJ. <laughs> so screw that noise, right? All right. Crap. You know what? Oh, good time for a key dog, right when I don't need it. Freaking dumb animal. Also, very good, like, drill here. Uh, by drill, I mean very good big boy here. I can just have infinite big boys. Okay. Oh, you know why? We have a lot of coolness now. That's why we keep getting these drops. Makes sense. Yeah, that's exactly why we're getting this many drops. <laughs> Talk give me another key too. I don't think um I don't think dogs have coolness synergies at all. I do love just being able to press space bar four times though and kill a whole room. Pet the dog he gave you things. He gave me more keys. I also I did pet him just for a half second. I'm just gonna nuke myself. Nuke it, nuke it good. Hello, LJ. Just so that you know I'm going into it with the uh, full understanding that it will cause the summon. All right, you know I don't care about the ammo. We got enough ammo for everything. God, I just love these freaking drills, though. Wow, what the heck? Where did you come from? Oh, you just didn't get drilled, huh? Get drilled, son. You know what? I really don't want to deal with that bag. The grab bag. Thank you. Do, 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 I mean, they're getting him eventually. Oh, this is a great big boy. LJ's a bit late to the party as always. Yeah, this is not LJ's uh, time to shine. This is not an LJ moment. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. This is also not the right direction. I need to go in the other direction. I need to go down. I don't know what you paid out with, but I'm gonna give you one little nudge of a pet. What the heck? Is, uh... Are the shots from... Oh, this is a great one of these. Are the shots from Super Space Turtle also exploding? I think it's... I think that's not the case, but it does feel like it for some reason. 
Dog, thank you for the... Whatever you paid out with. I have to run, though. I have to leave. My planet needs me. Maybe coolness does make the dog pay out more. I don't know. I don't think it does, but... I'm willing to admit there could be a universe in which I am possibly wrong. It's happened before, I think. I assume. Okay, well that needed to happen. Oh! Okay, they got him. Guys, can you just like die faster, please? Frame perfect dodge petting. <laughs> Speed run tactics right there. Who said I couldn't do it? gets me is that it doesn't break the bullets. Why did I move? I probably was pressing the button. <laughs> I immediately fully acknowledge that, all right, I might be at fault for that one. My bad, oops. This also seems like a great fight for one of these and for using the drill. I actually don't think I need to use um, big boy unless there's a reason because I think I'm at the damage cap just with drills although I'll use it here right it doesn't work it doesn't clear bullets when you have explosions on the screen very bad protect this says who's a big boy <laughs> Jesus, push me into the bullets. I nuked myself on that one. <laughs> Whoops. He nuked himself. I thought I could fly. I, I actually was, was thinking about it. Whenever I'm in a fight like this, um, I occasionally think about what I can do to get around some of the, the bullets. And I thought to myself, wasn't there wax wings in this run? <laughs> Alibali12, hey, welcome, and thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Pit Lord moment. I. Pit Lord potentially. I really just thought I could freaking fly. Well. No big boy, I guess. Well, I do have like nine blanks. Eleven. Something like that. Let's see, it doesn't work. Alright, well, you know, fine. I've just been using the drill for like the past eight floors and three rooms, six bosses. I'll never get another uh, another big boy actually breaking bullets. Hey, good run! That was a fun run. We had some cool stuff there. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and I hope you did as well. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch if I want to go live. Support the channel, any of the links below in the video description. And I hope, as we see the end screen here, to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gun John.